hello all welcome back to channel this is d square and today i will show you how to make drop test in solidworks and uh, we will discuss about what is the importance timing of the drop test in this software okay so i'm starting so let me delete this one first okay now fine so this is my glass and uh, I am doing simulation click here new study and here we can get the drop test ok now click right first uh, apply material so I am applying here glass material so other known metal in glass now apply and close ok now go to here setup right click and define edit and right now I am doing drop height so in drop height uh, I am taking as a height from a centroid and uh, I am changing the unit in feet I am changing the 10 feet right here is uh, one more thing you can make your impact test according to velocity also or uh, this one is uh, choose uh, below height of your object ok so here we need to show the gravity so gravity is down direction and make it reverse right gravity is fixed uh, 9.81 ok now here you can see that rigid target or flexible target in a rigid target your uh, impacting surface is uh, made uh, fully rigid it means there is no flexibility ok in a flexible target uh, you have to define this all are all the parameter then after uh, one surface is created ok so right now I am choosing a rigid target and uh, click right okay, now here uh, go here re result option right click and define it here you can see the timing is given that is uh, 62.43 and uh, see here it's written in a microsecond it shows uh, when your object touch with the surface and uh, what happen in uh, 62.43 microsecond it shows unit in microsecond right now I'm changing in 70 microsecond if I choose here one minute or more than one minute so the simulation take more time it takes one hour or two hour so right now I am choosing here 70 microsecond ok now this is for the graph ok now click right here and uh, right click here mess and run ok so here click here more and uh, you can see the remaining timing here 6 minute and 32 second so you can imagine it uh, if uh, I can get uh, if uh, I want uh, more time like 1 minute or 2 minute so it, it will take up to 2 hour or 3 hour also ok we are close now it's in 95% uh, ok simulation is completed uh, now you can see here ok so first is uh, stress displacement 
double click on displacement and uh, right click here and go to your setting first uh, we just need to change uh, scientific to floating and uh, your definition and uh, right now this is a uh, true scale that is one gem one right now I am choosing automated scale for uh, visualization only okay now click right and right click and animate it okay so this is uh, not a uh, actual scale but is a uh, scale is uh, 21 into 53 times more than the original scale it shows the better idea what happened okay so here you can see that the maximum displacement uh, is a uh, 0.345 mm and the maximum time is a uh, here you can see that the uh, 69.9915 microsecond so when this glass is a uh, touch with the surface and uh, after impacting uh, the time is uh, 69.9915 microsecond what uh, happened in this glass so it shows that thing only and uh, the maximum displacement also here you can see that okay now right here and uh, double click on stress right click here and uh, setting here also get here floating definition and uh, this is also true scale here and uh, here you can also see the microsecond timing this is our microsecond timing what happened in the 69.9915 microsecond in with this glass okay now change here to mpa megapascal click right so this is the true scale now animated it so here we can see that the change is here just right here and uh, right click setting and choose here a point now right okay so it gives us a more better idea now animate it okay so here you can see that the changes shows uh, very good here like and this is a uh, one gem one scale only deformation scale is one and our timing is here fixed uh, 69.991 microsecond okay now right here and also get here right click setting and point now click right right click here animate it okay so this is my deformation it is uh, scaled so i am doing in one gem one definition and true scale right once more here get animate so this is my original deformation in one gem one scale and uh, 69.9915 microsecond after uh, impacting of the glass so this will happen after impacting of the glass so this is the my main displacement is uh, 0.345 mm okay right now click here result and right click and get here define time mystery plot here uh, we can see that uh, the graph right now i am choosing node one these are the all nodes of the glass right now i am choosing node one okay now go near and uh, choose here i am choosing time versus stress diagram and uh, value is megapascal 
click right so here you can see that the graph the starting of deformation time is here and uh, this is uh, stress it means my material is failing and the timing is here in microsecond so deformation start in with in this timing and it will going up up and uh, once more down up and down so this is my stress versus time graph and here we can see that our uh, maximum time is uh, 69.99 microsecond so cancel it also this is strain uh, the where is the material is change more here we can see that in, in this test uh, material structure is change in almost node okay right uh, stress displacement right click here and uh, here we can see that isoclapping where is my maximum displacement so i just drag the arrow and it shows the maximum area ready a area means uh, there, there is more displacement than other now click cancel it now i just doing previously okay continuous click right and animated this is right now one gem one scale it means also we can say it's a true scale so this will happen in the drop test when i put the glass uh, on 10 feet and this will touch with the surface and uh, after impacting the time is 69.99 wave 15 millisecond this uh, happening on the glass okay so this is the whole review about drop test so like share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching